Okay, this was a bad idea. I was trying, I was filling it up right here with the, I was hooking it up with the tape and it was working good as I got it to the top. And then as soon as I started using the machine, you could see, look, all this water came under the sink. This is not good. Hopefully we don't have to call the plumber. Look, the floor's leaking. It backed up right there. Oh boy, this is not good. It was leaking back there. It was because the water was coming backwards and going back into here and then it was going back down the pipes, which overflowed it, which is not good. And see, I have this uh, sink, uh, the hose, the inlet, where it inlets the water into the washing machine. Instead of holding it up or filling up with heavy uh, water buckets right over there, it's too heavy and it's annoying to go back to the bathtub and coming back, bath tub and then coming back because it won't fit under this one so I was trying to fit like maybe a clamp but that won't work and rubber band that obviously that won't work and then I tried making like a funnel to hook it onto like a latch but that didn't work but you're thinking tape that won't work <laughs> but try to look at this it works look if it's hooked on properly as long as it's secured tight and it doesn't leak out otherwise you have it backs up into the sink and could go into the floor right there. But see, look at this. We'll put this on a time lapse for you. It has a slow leak, but it's much better than holding this thing here for like 10 minutes. Soapy water to tire that you're getting running before you get your put your clothes in there. Okay, I have all my clothes right here. I'm gonna separate it right here with the, the darks right there, green. Oh, it looks like we might need some more water. That's three shirts right there. Looks like you can only fit like three pairs, three days worth of clothes in there, and now we'll try it on. Now you can see my clothes is spinning now. Uh, there's not enough water. Let me add some more water. Okay, the spin cycle just ended right there. You can see right there, and there it is, all of it just sitting there. We'll open it up. And you can see, look, all the water's all dirty and soapy. We're gonna drain it out. Oh, it's right here, this one to drain. You have to be careful, it doesn't flood your sink. Look at all that dirty water coming out. See about a minute and 20 seconds now to drain it, but it takes about three, four minutes to fill it up. We'll put it back up to normal and then we'll fill it back up again so we can rinse it. And then we'll spin, we'll put it on the spinner again for about five minutes. Oh boy, this is what I was trying to prevent because you have to bend over or sit on the floor and hold this thing up for a long time. But otherwise, if you tape it, it starts flooding. Otherwise, we had another flood, so now I can't tape it up again. Do not use tape at all. <laughs> this part is really irritating because you have to keep going from here to the bathtub and back, and you can only add a tiny bit. Otherwise, it's going to be too heavy. Just fill it in right there. And barely did anything. That's like 20 of those you have to do because it won't even fit under this thing because it'll start leaking out the side. So this thing's really irritating. Maybe a smaller bowl or something. Oh, it looks like we're at the max line now. On a timer. We'll give it five minutes this time just to rinse it. You can see it's now rinsing my clothes. All the, you know, take off all the Tide, the laundry detergent. much cleaner it is now. We'll let that drain and then we'll put it into the dryer. Open the dryer side up right there. There's like a little thing right here. 
Okay, it's it now stopped draining right now. We're gonna turn the drain switch off. You could probably leave it on if you want, but we'll try it with that. The water will just start to build up underneath. That's why you can see, I was wondering why this bin, it's half the size of the washer, but you can see all the water right there from the, the clothes that it's gonna spin out like a hurricane right there. We'll grab it from the washer right now. You can see it's all soaking wet right there. I'm gonna put it in the dryer now. Oh boy, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get too much. Or maybe you could get three shirts in there. Oh, I don't think so, that's pushing it. Okay, here's this desk thing we have to put on. If I can get it in. Oh, I have it upside down, I think. I don't want it to fit in there. Oh, there we go. It's in there, now we'll close the lid, otherwise it won't spin right there. And we'll put this spinner on for about three minutes. Look at all that water coming out. Look at this. This is cool. Oh, I had the drain off. Why is it still spinning? Let me open it back up. You can see there's all the water coming out of the clothes now. Look at that. Out of the spinner, it's spinning the clothes. It doesn't have a heater or a dryer, but it spins it out. It looks like a car wash right there for your clothes. It's not that loud, and listen. It makes a little bit of a vibrating noise if you put your hand on the table. See, if you try to look, you won't see, it stops automatically if you try to open it. And then it starts back up again. It's not too good right there, it's still damp right there. It's not leaking, dripping water, but it's pretty good. Okay, I just took out my, uh, the, the other shirts that I had, and now I'm gonna fill the rest up from this side because there was only half the capacity right here. You have to make sure this is in, otherwise, listen to what happens. It makes a big rumbling if that thing's not in there. Listen. See, it starts bouncing, and it'll fall off the thing. <laughs> now it's just gone crazy. Put it in the regular dryer because it's still damp right there. Okay, this time we're going to fill up the sink this time. What we're going to do a siphon. That's why it's no longer on the counter right here. We have it on the floor and we're going to do a siphon right here as the sink fills up. Okay, right now we're going to hook, put this in the water right here. And this has to be lower than the sink because of the gravity. Because if you try it like that and siphon it, it won't work. So you have to give it a suction now by sucking the water in. Right there, now come over. You can see it's filling up. Look at the sink, it's starting to drain. You can see we're gonna have to add some more water now. That's the thing. You can see right there, hello? There, it should start. Oh, it's on drain. Oh boy. <laughs> There's the white clothes. Okay, this is a problem. This won't reach to the sink now, so we'll put it to the drain, but we have to use this bucket right here. We'll come over here. To drain it. See, so now you have to, you have to dump it slowly in the sink. So you get either or. You only get one way, because it's not professionally installed. If you have it up here, you could drain it quickly and easier, but the added filling water is not good. But if you have it down here, you could siphon it easily, fill it with water, but then you can't drain it easily. So it's not a win-win. But it was good right here if I could get a right attachment.